Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna talk about how I go about rendering dailies for the producer, the director, or the agency when it comes to commercial filmmaking. This workflow works really great if we're working with a director, producer, or an agency that wants to review a whole lot of the interview content that we captured on set, along with transcripts. So let's jump in. This is a project we shot around 30 interviews so I've got other videos about how I bring all of the footage into a timeline to sync and start transcribing. But essentially the result of all of that initial work is a variety of timelines, which you can see here across multiple different days, um, that all represent different interviews. And these interviews have been culled down or subtractively edited down to all of the usable parts. All the parts that I would have no problem showing the client or the director or the producer. A lot of the time people render dailies, which has absolutely everything within the interview. But you could be shooting a 30 minute interview and only have five minutes of really good usable content with lots of other content within that interview recording that might just be fluff or director having conversations with the crew, all of that sort of stuff. So each of these interviews have been synced into a timeline cut down to what I like to call a breakdown or a selects reel, and then rend it off for the client. So once it's all synced, what I like to do is click this icon up here, which will go ahead and transcribe the interview. Now once the transcription is done for each interview string out, I export it as a text document, a TXT document. This will go into the notes folder within my folder structure. And you can see here, these are all of the transcript files that have already been rendered for this project. So all the transcripts go there. And then I can go ahead and actually render this sequence out. There are a couple of ways to do this. What I like to do is to batch render. So I'll go through and export all the transcripts for each clip. And then I can actually select all my timelines together, right click and choose timelines, export or add to render queue using a preset called dailies. Now what this will do is automatically select the folder. If I hit open, then it will go ahead and load all of them into the render queue. What's really great about doing it this way is each of these renders absorb the timeline name. So the name's automatically updated. And then the preset that I use is one that I've set up for dailies, but the main key for this one is that it's rendering using proxy media and render cached images. This just allows the renders to be super quick. Once they're rendered, they will appear here in my dailies render folder. Once they're sitting on my hard drive, I can then upload them to frame.io and then produce a review link for the client. So this is the actual review link that I've sent off to the client. And you can see here, all of the interviews are accompanied by the corresponding transcript file. And so the client can go in, watch the interview through, download the transcript file, and then it allows them to start getting their head around the story development. So in this particular scenario, we're working with an agency who is providing story direction. And so the transcripts are a great way for them to skim through the interview to start to understand key storylines. But this is essentially the start of any major project that we would produce. That's it for this video. I just wanted to show you that that is how I would set up the initial dailies workflow. Um, for a commercial brand film project and this is really helpful to build as a foundation going forward. It's also a great resource to always refer back to. If you're filming a long form project over a series of months, maybe even years, always having a grasp of what's being captured already can really help you specifically as a director to get your head around the overarching long form narrative stories. So by reviewing the daily selects, as well as reading through the transcripts, you're starting to get a grasp of what's been captured. And then you can always grab, pick up content later um, if you feel like there's any holes or gaps. If this has been helpful for you, please like and subscribe this video. Would love to hear your feedback. And if you have any questions, I'll keep them in mind for future videos. For now, peace out. We'll see you in the next one.